Good morning, everyone. It is day five of Inktober, and today's prompt is hair. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> so I'm actually going to set my timer for 15 minutes today because I have to go to work pretty shortly. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 15 minutes here before work, and then when I come home, I'll do the rest of the uh, 45 minutes that I Oh, my Inktober. So I am not going to ink. I'm just going to draw and uh, see what happens. Um, I will use ink later. I just really don't have the time because I don't even have my lunch ready. I don't have anything ready. So 15 minutes. Here we go. Okay guys, I'm gonna be super, super honest. I'm getting really, really frustrated because <laughs> hair is one of those things that I just don't like to draw and I can tell that my heart's not really into it and plus people are starting to wake up and now I'm just getting all sorts of flustered and frustrated. So I'm just gonna leave it here for right now. So I have about five minutes and eight seconds left on the clock here and then the other 45 minutes that I need to do. So I have about 50 minutes of time that I need to cover and I'm just gonna come back to this with a really clear mind so um, I'll see you guys after work uh, and I'll hopefully be here okay guys so I'm home I'm actually about to get ready to have a bath but I figured I would at least come back to this I'm I'm gonna be really really honest I really don't want to work on this anymore <laughs> I know that's terrible to say, but I just, I really feel like I need to sit down for more than an hour and actually play with this further. Um, maybe even watch some like Skillshare videos or tutorials, but at least for right now, I'm going to have to call it quits on this. I know I only spent like five minutes on this, 10 minutes on this, but I just, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> um, I'm just getting a little frustrated with it. So what I'm going to do, I am going to ink because I do feel like I do want to at least have the inking practice. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in time lapse, but I'm calling it done, guys. I'm throwing in the towel. I suck. <laughs> suck at life. So anyway, let's get to it. Okay, maybe I won't do this entirely in time-lapse. So, I'm kind of half-heartedly doing this. I just really, I just don't know how to do hair. I can do anime hair. But when it comes to hyper-realism and things like that, I just get so stuck. I don't know if it's because I'm overthinking things. Or what's... I really hate doing downward strokes. I like doing upward strokes better. But, um, I, do, I just don't know. When it comes to hair, I just... I have a really hard time grouping the hair. And But I, I always just see every hair individually. And I know you're, you shouldn't do that because it just looks bad. And I just... Like, right now, I'm like, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I don't even want to post this onto Instagram or anything, but... <sighs> And today wasn't even that bad of a day at work or anything. It's just, man, this whole day, I just did not want to be positive. I mean, I was okay at work. And then when I was uh, coming home, I was like, oh crap, I have an Inktober to finish. Because my, my husband is waiting on me on Skype. See, he actually just messaged me right there. Um, 
But yeah, I really just kind of want to sit down with an adult beverage and take a bath. Because uh, my job is a little physical at times. And I do, as a very active person, I do perspire. So I just kind of want to get clean. I, I don't know. I don't know what tomorrow's prompt is, but I really, I'm glad it's, I'm glad it's not hair. I just can't do hair. Even eyes. I might be able to do eyes. Eyes are interesting. I've actually never done a realistic eye before. And one of the things I noticed that artists do <laughs> is they draw realistic eyes often. And even though it seems like a really overdone subject, it's always so interesting to look at eyes. Now, what kind of... That was a horrible line. This is all horrible. <laughs> um, what kind of person are you guys on Instagram? Are you the kind of people who do take the time to appreciate a post? Or, like, like myself, like, I will sit there... I will sit there and I will, like, dissect a person's artwork. Or I'll dissect a person's photograph. I'll, like, try and understand, you know, the lighting situation or uh, where they were in respects to their image like were they on the ground taking the photo uh were they up in the air taking the photo like all that kind of stuff like the technique and i love stuff like that so are you the kind of person who just likes and continues down on their line their list of uh posts that they have, they have to get through or do you actually take the time to appreciate a person's instagram post because it's not like posting on instagram is super easy it's not like just click and go i mean it can be but, you know, most people like to, you know, like myself, like to put a little blurb in there. Oh, man, this is terrible. This <laughs> is really bad. Oh, gosh. Out of all the hairstyles, I think I really liked these two. In the uh, hairstyles that I found online. Like, I thought they would be the most doable for me. Like, this one was a pretty difficult one that I chose for myself. And I just, as you can tell, I didn't really feel like going for it. But, uh, yeah, I, I just really never grasped hair growing up. I think, I think even in my, like, older pictures, which are online, you guys can check them out. I do have, uh, I think two videos, at least two or three videos, maybe, where I show my old artwork. And, uh... <laughs> It's very interesting. I actually changed styles very frequently growing up as a kid. I think I had about, oh, I don't, I don't know, at least five different art styles when I was starting to draw. And I was very prolific. I mean, I, I remember one summer I hold myself up in my room and I just drew and I drew all summer. I actually started, like, a Digimon comic, which I don't know if I detailed in my Digimon old drawings, my embarrassingly old Digimon drawings uh, video, but, yeah, I remember just drawing and drawing for hours. And see, like, I didn't care about proportions as much as I do now. Like, I used to draw full-body characters constantly, all the time, in different ways, and... I don't know why that magic is gone now that I'm older. I don't know if it's because I stunted myself by not drawing every day. I mean, there was a period of probably, ooh, let me think, three or four years where in that whole time span, I maybe drew once. I know, isn't that crazy? Well, that was a horrible line. <laughs> But it was bad. It was really, really bad. And I just can't believe that I would do that to myself. When I got back into drawing a couple of years ago, this was probably around the time this channel came out. Back in 2016 is when I actually started drawing a little bit more. But even now, it's very hard for me to draw every day. It was really easy then to, like, every week pick a Pokemon that I wanted to draw and... But I wasn't really trying. I wasn't, and even now, like I said, I'm, I'm not really, not really challenging myself. But, for example, like today, 
drawing hair. It's very challenging for me and I get frustrated very, very easily to the point where I don't even want to continue. Like I don't even, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I don't even know. So I'm not even going to bother like with anything. Honestly, I'm just, I'm going to leave it here because I just, I don't have any drive to want, I, don't even, I didn't even time myself. I had no drive to want to finish this. I, I'm sorry. I know that's horrible, but I got to call it quits because there's other stuff that I want to do today. Uh, like I want to talk to my husband for the first time in a couple of days. I want to take a nice soothing bath and I just want to relax. Now I'm hoping tomorrow, since I do have off of work, I will actually feel more motivated to draw and hopefully get up early. But for now, uh, where is my pen? The trusty Faber-Castell. We're just going to call it. We're going to call it because if we're not motivated, there's no point in trying to even continue. At least in my opinion. I know not all circumstances, but anyway. I'll see you guys tomorrow.